the Clippers have felt like this season was they had way more continuity than last year, but has it been that way? Because they haven't played, still haven't played a ton of games with all their guys. The Clippers clipped. I mean, they they do what they do. <laughs> so no, I I mean like it's 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 hard because like looking at the standings and and the record, like it doesn't really jump out at you. And yeah, there there were basically the same continuity issues as we had last year. What I think looked a lot different was the process leading up to that this year. I think that's kind of like why it's a bummer that we sort of tanked those last couple of games and ended up fourth because this yeah. was a, a, a team that that really did steal some wins out, you know, out sometimes a full starting lineup uh, against another team in a really hard fought victory. And it's just, there's a resiliency that we never saw last year and just sort of a commitment to figuring out rotations uh, and sort of finding what works. I mean, last year, you know, we didn't really change anything. We we kind of ran the same stuff. Uh, when we got in a jam, we leaned on on the same things that we had done all season. Uh, and I just don't think that it, it, A, ever built good habits, and B, it, it didn't leave guys like a lot of faith that, you know, their number was going to come up or that they were a significant contributor in this. And I think that shows in in sort of the locker room struggles that they had last year. I mean, last year in a close game, um, you know, down the stretch, you would see guys just like bowing their heads down in the huddle. Like it was over. You knew it was over. Like, the, I mean, no one really even wanted to try. And this year, I mean, it's just guys are talking to each other a lot more. I mean, like the continuity thing, I don't even know how much you can truly put into it because winning is a bigger deal than continuity. Uh, and that's and like, that's like our Michelob Ultra question. Like, do you win yeah. because you're happy or you're yeah. happy because you win, right? Do you win because of continuity or do you get continuity because you win? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I think that there was like a lot more of that. And then, you know, like the, the constant sort of thing that we hear from, from the players in, in media availability again and again, is that there's like a system in place where everyone is kind of calling each other out and no one takes it personally. And we had nothing resembling that last year. No, there was one guy in particular who seemed to take things very personally when he would be called out. Uh, he's no longer on the team, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Magruder. No, I'm just kidding. It's um, Get him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're turning into the Warriors over here. Um, <laughs> Light years ahead. Yeah. No, I'm excited. I'm real. I'm just I'm so much I'm looking forward to this series and these playoffs so much more than last year. Last year, there was this idea that like, sure, the Clippers had the personnel to win a championship, but that's what they had. They only had the personnel. They didn't have the coaching. They didn't have the game. Plan. You never there felt wasn't like that with Doc. You never felt like that with Doc Rivers at all. Like he's he'd won a title as a coach. You never felt like he was a guy that could. It never felt. I, no. Dude, I think I, I'm calling bullshit on this. I think that that's like revisionist history. I, I definitely thought Doc was capable of winning a title. I mean, I look what he did with that 18-19 team. And I was oh, capable, all sure. Like, I was all aboard the Doc year. train. Like, I, I thought that at the time he was like a motivator of men. But if there's something that we know about Doc Rivers, it's that like he doesn't really manage personalities that well, I don't think. I mean, we saw that with the Celtics. And like you hear about all the falling out there uh, yeah, leading up to that, to that championship run. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm, you know, like it, it, it just, and you know, I feel like that's part of why the Lob City era never really worked out. Personalities were yeah. never effectively managed. Sure. And I think that's what we saw more of, man. And it's, you know, he's a great coach. He's a solid X and O's guys. I mean, he's really committed to defense despite like, I I mean, I never saw it with the Clippers, but uh, <laughs> See? The, the, the idea of it is bench there. couldn't defend. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, the, the thing for me is like, I yeah, I just, I don't think that he can walk in and, and like solve personnel disputes. And I think that that is another thing that you have to be able to do as a coach. I mean, I think that that's Or like, make adjustments. Yeah, right. yeah. And I, I think that's like <laughs> yeah, something true. like, it's, it's a shift of the league though, right? Because there used to be like this old guard where it's like what coach says goes and then you have someone like Steve Kerr or something and it's like, no, dude, part of this job is honestly just being an HR manager and making sure that everyone <laughs> can play together. And Doc like, Rivers could never do that. 